you brutalized or bullied some guys when you were in there. You know, a guy, 100%. you say, oh, you got a cell phone? Give me that. Yeah. I'm selling dope now. Yeah. Whatever. In your process of recovery, you're supposed to make amends. Did, did you ever, could you ever make amends with guys from like the street life, from the old days, from I got prison? A good, I got a good one for you, man. Is, mm. um, I, um, stuff happened on the yard. A guy, um, a guy, um, owed me money because I was selling, you know, dope on the yard type mm -hmm. thing. And um, he didn't pay. He was paroling. So his people got at him pretty rough, bad, right? And this is a crazy thing. I was, uh, I was in Santa Monica on the 4th of July. And I was- Hang uh, on, what, sorry. So he was getting paroled and he owed so, you money? So he so owed me money. And so, so it's either like um, you, it's either, it was another race. And yeah. so it was either, hey, it's either he can't leave without paying me my money. So you guys are either going to take care of it or we're going to take care of it. Right. They said they take care of it. They took care of it. And they whooped good. his ass or something? They, they, uh, they book him? They did him good. They book him. Huh. They book him. They booked. It was, it was, it was brutal, bro. It was very, very brutal, you know? Wow. Black, yeah. can you say the race? Uh, Mexican. Okay. Mexicans, right? And so, uh, homies, you know, and, yeah. uh, and, uh, and I never saw that guy again, man. I heard, but I heard this cries of death that night. And um, I'm on uh, 4th of July. 4th of July, man. I'm walking down Santa Monica Beach looking for all the fireworks on the on the north side of the pier. And uh, and I look over and I see the guy, right? Whoa. And his shirt's off and I can see all the scars, right? Whoa. And, uh, and like, I sort of like, and at this point, I'm in my recovery too, but and I, and I, I'm, I'm very, I'm like a few years in my recovery at this point. And I, and I remember walking as I walking up and he sees me, man. And I, he like sort of gets his kid and stuff and he sort of like, you know, yeah, packs, man. And I, and I walk up, man. And I, and I tell the guy, I'm sorry. Right. I tell him, hey, I apologize, man. It's like, you know, and like it was, uh, and stuff like that. And, did um, that scare you? Like, did it, was that scary to do? Um, I, you know, um, no, I don't think it was scary for me in, in my eyes, you know? Like you didn't feel shame. Like, I don't know. I would just be like embarrassed. Uh, I just, his, his reaction of how scared he was. And, and, uh, for me, just wanted to wake, walk up and say that bygones be gone. That was the path to that. Hey, mm -hmm. whatever happened, happened do that, yeah. you know? By the way, for any tourists thinking about going to the Santa Monica Pier, that is where you would see a mother with prison stab wounds <laughs> on his chest. It is not the highest class of people over there. <laughs> oh, dude. Especially on the 4th of July. Yeah, you'll exactly. See a lot of, you'll see a lot of them. Yeah. Mexicans like fireworks, bro. Yeah, 100%. Oh, that, so, you know, what's funny is you mentioned like the Hispanics, the homies. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about, because they take bidding seriously too, just like the white boys. Yeah. Like they, they treat it, they treat prison, especially on those there high no level yards. There is no difference. I don't think there's any kind of a difference in like how we discipline our people and how we, how we book them or we stab them or how we check them. Like yeah. uh, are the politics of one race and another race there is like, there's that fine line. It's just that like you people deal with your people and we deal with our people, you know? Yeah. And yeah. there is like those. And, and, as, and as far as you want to say that there's no, there's no, um, there's no, uh, like, you know, you know, we're not supposed to be in debt with other races. Mm -hmm. There's always debt with, uh, there's, there's ones that always have debt with other races right. and stuff like that. And, uh, but we like to, we like to think that there's not because of situations like this that just happened. Right. You know? Right. And to where like, it's either like the whole yard and the people that are innocent and don't do nothing about, and I don't do that are actually on the yard who actually whatever DUIs or something that, or whatever happened in their lives that land them there, like, you know, uh, that they have to sacrifice their lives for the mistake of uh, us, you know, out there running the drugs and, you know, trying to in the drugs. So now it's that's because now what happens is that everybody is in jeopardy because right. now it's going to, and, and who's going to get picked off is those, is those weak people. Right. You know, the ones that I'm trying to like, that I'm trying to protect and keep and, and keep a, a great student and, and trying to show them this line of how to, how to walk inside the prison system, you know, yeah. and, you know, and yeah. stuff like this. But those are the guys that, you know, they get killed or get hurt. They get hurt. They man. get it's collateral damage. Collateral damage, dude. Like, so was that when the when you were in the race riots at Tehachapi and wherever else you were in them, 
what were those over drug debts or how no. do, you, do you know how those uh, started? Actually, I'm a, uh, I remember uh, on, on one of them that the one that went down, it was more or less, it was, uh, us against the, the cops and it was, um, and it was, uh, like somewhere down the line, an officer disrespected somebody. And, uh, and for that, that message came from the back to where at like four o'clock, you know, or four 30 on, on Thursday, like everybody and everywhere is just going to, we're going to go off in a chain reaction all the way around building one to building two to building three. So you, what you wow. do is you, you hear the building one go off. You hear the sound the two go off, you hit three and it's just, and it's all, and it's just all a chain reaction all the way around. You know, and uh, and then you everybody's taken off on everybody, or, and it's or us, on the cops. It's us on the cops, you know, and um, and um, and that gets pretty hectic and stuff. Or it, it, like you be in the chow hall, and it and it's us against them, and it goes, and not everybody participates, but it gets participated. And then when it came to the other races, like I remember, it was like a, it was like a straight gladiator stuff, dude. It was, it was like you're on a 180, and it's like um, on that side of the fence, you got a hundred. Uh, essays and on that side you got you know a uh, hundred blacks and on this side you got maybe uh 60 white boys dude and um and i uh, and i and you like literally like you'll just see like um you know whether it's the the whites and the essays just straight just charge each other man it's mm. like a straight just like glad like just yeah, like <laughs> like gladiator like literally just straight literally the movie gladiator yeah and just like um or you watch the blacks and the Mexicans go at it to where the waves of, you know, it's, it's just like, uh, a brutal, a brutalness. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I watched people, um, I watched, I watched people get sliced, like not stabbed, but literally filleted open, hanging out on the floor. You know, like, uh, I watched, uh, your, your cup, you know, become like the best weapon in the world to where like uh, just people's heads are just, you know, like yeah. beaten down, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I, I, I see a, a lot of, uh, I've saw lots of that stuff just go down, you know, and, and uh, you never know what happens to those people because they don't tell you no, unless it's in the paper or something like those, they just get life flighted out that life lined out. You get, you go to medical and, and, uh, and then you probably end up somewhere just doing your time wherever. Yeah. You don't, that I, I ran into, I, I remember I, I, I have like, and, and if you're doing this, you're in that cycle of doing time and all that stuff. I think that you, like, there's some people that, that just like you are doing the installment plan and that you continue, continuously mm -hmm. run into one another. Yeah. And I, I remember that one guy, um, this guy named night train that man, I, I remember it was like us and the homies against the blacks in this riot. And I watched them and I remember watching that guy. I watched this guy get, I mean, like crippled beyond his, done for the rest of his life man and i remember seeing him years down the road and on a yard you know mm -hmm. and that's reminiscent about that you know and was he oh the st the same guy or did he have like was he noticeably up? he was like wheelchair and like straight crippled i mean oh. i just i i like they straight just you know done for your life you know 